Hello, I'm Richard Durr, Leisure Services Director for Seminole County, and thank you for joining us for the Seminole County Trails Master Plan 2020 Update Project. This video is Chapter 1 of 4 short presentations regarding the Trails Master Plan Project. This presentation provides a brief overview of the history of our trail system and the steps that were taken to lay the groundwork for our current trail system. Seminole County today, along with our seven cities, has undergone tremendous growth in the last 25 years. The county today, while being the fourth smallest county in the state in terms of land area, has grown to become the third most densely populated county in Florida in terms of population per land area. The history of what eventually became our trail corridors can be traced back into the 1800s. Trail blazing in those days were done by extending new rail lines into our area. The Orange Belt Railway and a spur of the Flagler Railroad were two such examples. By the 1940s, the railroad corridors had made their way across the county and through what were five cities in those days. And as the use of those corridors as railways faded into history, evidence of that past use remained. In the mid-1990s, residents and community leaders worked together to craft a vision to turn many of those defunct rail corridors into trail corridors. Knitted together with large road right-of-ways and power line easements, this vision created three showcase trails, which would become known as the Seminole Wakiva Trail, the Cross Seminole Trail, and what was then called the Old State Road 13 Trail, which would be renamed later as the Flagler Trail. If you've heard of Rails to Trails, that's exactly what we have here in Seminole County. This vision for a countywide trail system at that time was established with a set of four main goals. The first goal was to create new opportunities for recreation, such as walking, hiking, biking, and equestrian uses. The second goal was to create important connections, connecting neighborhoods to schools, parks, natural areas and activity centers, such as shopping, and places of employment and businesses, and civic functions. The third goal was about our transportation system. Through the creation of trails, it would provide alternatives to moving around the county by not having to use an automobile. Our on-road system would be designed and constructed to include bike lanes and bike routes for commuting and touring bicycles. Last, but certainly not least, was the impact a trail system could have on the quality of life in Seminole County. Trail projects could help revitalize old neighborhoods. New development was encouraged to construct new connections and infrastructure to the growing county, and the combination of both would help to protect and connect important natural resources. From 1996 to 2000, the county engaged in an alphabet soup of federal and state funding and grants programs to help fund the initial implementation of the trail system. Then on November 7, 2000, the residents of Seminole County voted to approve a referendum to fund another $20 million in trail projects and $5 million in natural lands projects. At the time of the vote, the county had just 10 miles of paved trail completed and in use and another 12 miles of unpaved trails. Fueled by the bond program and continuing to aggressively pursue grants, by 2015 those numbers had grown to over 133 miles of trails opened and in use. In 2013, the county completed an update of the county's Parks and Trails Master Plan. That effort helped to inform the trails portion of the next collaborative effort. And in 2014, as the result of further cooperation between the county, the seven cities, and the school district, the voters of Seminole County approved the Penny Infrastructure Sales Tax, which went into effect on January 1, 2015. Part of that program identified another $53 million for city and county trails, bicycle and pedestrian projects, and other safety improvements. Today, Seminole County hosts over 140 miles of paved and unpaved urban and rural trails connecting all aspects of life in Seminole County and helping to continue to enhance and maintain our quality of life. The next video in this series, Chapter 2, continues the story, and it's about the characteristics of our physical trail system and the terminology we use to describe it. Thank you again for your attention and participating in this very important project.